At the bottom of page two, there is another exercise using the words all, whole, every. Okay? All, whole, and every. Okay, what do these words mean? Huh? Yeah, pretty much. Exactly. They're pretty much the same meaning. Okay? So when we are talking about um, give me a sentence using that word. All the class. Better would be to say the whole class. The whole class. Okay? All the students. All the students. Very good. All the students or the whole class. Okay? Every day. Every student. Everyone. Everyone. Yes. Everywhere. 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 Very good. Every day. Every day, yes. Every day. Okay? Even hmm? Thank you. <laughs> okay. There are some small differences in the way we use these words, though. They may mean basically the same thing but there are small differences in how we use them, okay? Like, for instance, when we say the class, you would say the whole class, okay? Um, or, did you eat all the cake or the whole cake? You ate the cake. That's too much cake? <laughs> you can eat the whole cake. Some people would say, I ate all the cake. But that's not correct. I ate the whole cake, but it was very small. For me, the cake was very small. For you, maybe it is too big. Mm. The whole cake, okay? Yeah. To eat the whole cake. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of cake. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you use the word all, it usually indicates there are many. Numbers. Mm. It usually indicates or means there are many. I ate all of the cakes. Okay? So maybe there are five. Okay? I ate all of the cakes. Um, I ate all five pieces of chicken. Five pieces. Okay? June, do you understand? <laughs> again, again. <laughs> what is the difference between all and whole? Do you understand the difference? Okay. I ate the whole cake, which is only one cake, but I ate the whole cake. I ate all of the chicken. There are many pieces of chicken, but I ate all of the chicken. Okay? I ate every piece of chicken. Okay? 
I ate every piece of chicken. The whole chicken as one, one piece. piece. Yes. One piece, usually. Yeah, but you ate the whole thing. Yeah, but it was only a small chicken. So I could eat the whole chicken. Yeah. Okay? Can I say whole class? Yes. The whole class. Whole student. no. Students. No. You would say all the students or every student. Or of you. Pardon? Or of you. Or of you. All of you. Yes. yes. All of you have homework to do this weekend. <laughs> what do you mean no? Don't shake your head no. <laughs> All the time means today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. All the time. Every time um, is different. A little bit different. Every time. Um, you come to school every time. I teach all the time. Okay? A little bit of a difference. Yeah. Okay? Um, so, this can be seen as plural. And whole would be, uh, might be singular. This is definitely singular. Because you are saying every. Every pen is dry. Okay? You understand? Every pen is dry. Yeah. I used the whole pen in one day. I, singular. I used the whole pen in one day. Okay? Every pen is many, but each one of them is dry. I am saying each and every one. That makes it singular. I am specifying each one. Okay? All the pens, the whole bunch of them. Okay? Teacher, how about all day? Whole day. The whole day. The whole day. All day. You worked all day long. And whole day is the same. You worked the whole day. So, again, a slight difference. Very slight. The whole day. Yeah, that is only one day. I work all day. Every day, but all day long. The whole yeah. day. All day. Yeah, in other words, there are eight hours every day. So I worked the all day. Yeah. Whole day is one day. I work all day long. And I work the whole day long. I work the whole day. The whole day. I work all day of the week. All the days. All the days. Yeah. It is plural. All the Pardon? I work all day. Could be, could be. If you want to work 24 hours, <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> that is a long day. I think the monk must work 24 hours every day. He must be mindful 24 hours. Is that correct? Some monks. Some monks. Like 
Him. Yes. Him. He is mindful 24 hours a day. All, yes. Um, usually, yes. There are some instances where you may not need to use the uh, preposition of. All of the day, um, all day long, you don't need to use it there. But uh, usually, yes. Yeah. Uh, whole, whole more than all. More than. Let me whole is whole. Wholesale. The teacher. I whole, yes. Wholesale. Wholesale. <laughs> wholesale. Uh, that's it, a that's a different kind of word. Wholesale. That is one word. That is, it comes from this. But this means discounted, to be discounted, or a lower price, because you are buying many. You are buying the whole cell. Everything that I am selling, you want to buy the whole of it, all of it. Yeah. So, um, I go to the store. 